City leaders trying to find solutions to panhandling across the area. Today, they spoke about an education campaign to keep people from handing out money or food to panhandlers and instead directing it to nonprofits. City government reporter Craig Allison explained why. A plan to make sure the money is going to the right place. There is a difference between panhandling and homelessness. For example, everyone who's homeless does not panhandle and everyone who panhandles is not homeless. The Richmond County Sheriff's Office said in last week's panhandling meeting, upwards of 90% of the panhandlers they've interacted with are not homeless. The goal is to make sure your money isn't misused on the street, but sent to a nonprofit that provides valuable resources. Ten organizations in Augusta have already expressed their support for this education campaign. That would include radio advertising, TV, billboards, any type of social media needs, and any other uh, print media that would be needed. $25,000 ask all coming from the administrator's budget. But a few commissioners raised the point the money could be better used towards the strategic plan already passed within the past few years to tackle homelessness that hasn't received much attention since. I'm not against the program. I just wonder if $25,000 could be spent in a different direction. Overall, city leadership is still pushing for solutions since they found out from their attorneys last week an ordinance is out of the question. We want our community to know that although panhandling is protected under the Constitution, it can become a public safety issue, especially if the panhandler is in spaces where they can get hurt or if others can get hurt. In Augusta, Craig Allison on your side. The campaign would mainly target downtown Windsor Spring Road near the Augusta Mall, Peach Orchard, and the Washington I-20 corridor. This plan goes before the full commission next week. If it's approved, it'll be in place for a year to see how effective that marketing campaign is.